going full throttle here on the way to hang out at the shop because we've just seen the unicorn, the four door custom Camry Ute. And Canal is pushing this piece of shit bike as hard as she can to get up to it. <laughs> Have a look, that's what we're following. Oh, we've got to stop to show my ticket. Oh, look at it. It's almost um, crab walking down the road. That body is not straight. <laughs> oh, that's all. Huh? That's all we can do. Oh. Stop for the ticket. Oh, this stupid bloody ticket just to go hang out at the shop. And that brings me to today's peeve about this place. Is that, oh Maybe wait, do we have a chance? No, we don't. Nah. All right. There it is, in the distance. Farewell, four-door Camry custom ute. Ah. Oh, this is day. This is day. So in order to hang out with my in-laws, I needed to purchase one of these tickets. Is that there today? 16, 18, something or other. Thank you. Ah, gone. So that. With me. Huh? You used to study with me. Yeah? Oh, beef. Beef? Yeah. Oh, basket. beef. I thought you were going to say before, you're just saying beef. So, in order to visit this archaeological Aspara protected area, Upsara protected area, regardless of your intention. You've got to buy a ticket. So all we're doing is going to go hang out at the shop with uh, my in-laws, Canal Sisters, but it's going to cost me 32 bucks for the week to do so. And that really shits me. Because we used to just be able to come in here for lunch, hang out. You know, when I had intentions not to visit the temples, just to have lunch with the family and friends. Um, her sister actually lives in this area too, so if we want to go there during the day and stay, it cost me money for a ticket. Uh, beforehand, you used to be able to explain, hey, we're just going to hang out with people, and they just go, yeah, that's fine. But there was a point where uh, I think the owners changed hands. Is that right? Yeah. So the ownership of this ticketing agency area changed hands. Uh, you, you have to go to that new big monstrosity of a ticketing booth near the Soccer Hotel instead of the little cute one near the park here and since then it's been if you're white or you're a barang ticket required no ifs buts or whatever so yeah or a foreigner so i'd love to hear if anyone's got a way around this because i'm sick of paying 100 australian dollars just to hang out and play all my nieces and nephews let us know look i want to say i get it all right before anyone cracks the shit i get it i'm a foreigner here and this area needs to be maintained and by charging people to be here that money should be going to things like you know making sure the road's okay um, through projects to, to keep these beautiful temples and structures in, intact and part of that money is to basically say look you being here it's wear and tear on a place we need it for, you know, for the upkeep etc so I understand by being in this area I am contributing to the wear and tear of it and uh, that money goes towards the preservation. All I'm saying is, I'm not visiting any of these areas, apart from using the roads, uh, and all I'm doing is sitting around, having a soft drink, and teaching my nieces and nephews how to play thumb wars. But surely there should be, I don't know, some thumb war exception? <laughs> Just something. Maybe you need to go and play a thumb war with them, and if you win, you get to come in for free. Oh. <laughs> Any Upsara police want to play thumb war with me? <laughs> I am a champion. It's not the Upsara. Uh, well, Who is it then? It's the government, but you don't know exactly. Yeah, you just don't know. <laughs> Have a look at this wall. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oi. Oh, the hood is doing all right on the sandy stuff. Me. Experienced rider. Yeah. Or maybe 
15 years or more. Jeez. Good job. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Check out this gate. There's nobody around. Oh. For those who have got eagle eyes, yes. I put my helmet on the correct way. What Thank you. Know. So this is a pretty famous gate, as Canal was just saying. This is where a scene in Tomb Raider was filmed. What was the scene? When the local pulling the rock out of the gates to find the entrance to find the... Um, what were they looking for in the Tomb Raider? I can't remember. It's like the round metal thing that they were looking for in the temple and they were meant to find their entrance by pulling the rock out of this gate. Okay. Is it some sort of mysterious bowling ball? It's not a ball, it's like a round flat thing that they put on top of oh, something in the movie. I don't remember. Watch the movie. Anyway, watch the movie during that scene and this is the gate. I'll have to go back and re-watch it too because, well... Yeah, I know, but I just watched The Big Lebowski, and that's kind of where I got the bowling ball reference from. But you'd think if this was a famous bloody movie action joint, there'd be some people going, oh, but nah. Full disclosure, though, it is like a week before Christmas, so... I don't know if there's going to be... I don't know if there's going to be many Westerners... There's going to be a lot of Westerners finishing their work, coming on holidays... Or going to see family and stuff. Maybe not so much travelling. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. And again, like, just like we were saying the other day, you don't have to go too far to find a place that's just straight out of an ancient history book and feel like you're the only one here exploring it for the first time. Yeah, most tourists don't ever come to this part of the park. Although I think a local's been here, and you want to know how I know that? I'll tell you why. Because we have spotted a can of ABC Stout. Now, I know a local's been here because it is shite. It is horrid. Huh? Yeah, I will. But that stuff is absolutely horrid and no, no Western's going to drink that. I'll give you the big tip. But there's no, there's no things on the stairs. You can just climb up them. There's a little offering bit up there. It's quite dark in there, actually. Let's have a... Let's go and explore. Oh, we've just got some people stopping now, actually. How am I going to get up here? Oh, those freaking red ants! Fuck off! Oh! This is pretty creepy. Let's pull out our, our torch. And on video. Oh wow, check that out. So it's been burning some offerings in here. Let's just make sure I don't step on anything. Have a look at how that's formed and crumbled. That's wicked. Uh, cobwebs and mosquitoes, so I'm gonna be bitten to a crisp. And that goes right up to, to daylight up there. I don't think you get to see anything. But that is mega cool. I could do a bit of ball and bankrupt here and go, look, an ancient Khmer rock, a Khmer bottle, an ancient Khmer lady. Climb these sort of steps, didn't you? Yeah, easy. Wanna see? Come on. And back down so we can actually show people. <laughs> what grace! That wasn't climbing, that was just falling. <laughs> And one more time. 
Okay, well done. Congratulations. Okay. You want me to hold it? Yeah, you hold. And you're gonna fall? No, I'm not gonna fall. I'll cut you. You're gonna what? I'll cut you. From all the way over there? Yes. <laughs> These are all terrain bottoms. Well done. Check out that jungle path down there. And there's the entrance. That would have been the ancient Khmer Empire putting those rocks. Yes? Mm. Some ancient Khmer rocks. Mm. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Oh, excuse me. Shall we keep going? No, because we've discovered fruit. Oh, but it's out of reach. What a disaster. No fruit for you today. Anything for free fruit. So we have a normal evening at the shop. Beers have been drunk. Phones have been looked at. People just park and wander in. Shop is slowly closing up. Signs still up despite the uh, attempts of the local authority to get past this one. And the guys have got, girls I should say, have got a normal bunch of stuff here. So t-shirts, fancy dresses, hats, cold drinks, hot drinks, sunglasses, all the colours of the rainbow or colour chart of things here. Kids wandering around. Again, you be in this side of the camera, you'll be on YouTube. You don't see it from the back. And, uh... Yeah, Moi Moi's having a crack at the bike. She's had a couple of stacks, but it's doing all right. No brakes, no worries. Don't look at me, look at the road. So what happens here? You just hang out, a couple of beers, some chicken. Business is finished up. They're gonna eating food. They're gonna start packing up soon. It's just after five o'clock. Lights getting pretty ordinary. Tourists have stopped coming. And we just come out and she just terrorizes the kids. Look at that. Get him, get him. And yeah, pretty much that's what I paid my 100 rock bucks to do, to come through here and spend a majority of my time here. So you can see why, although I'm trying to see a few temples as we come in and get my money's worth, but just hanging out, kicking back, enjoying the surroundings and the noise of the Honda Dream as they run past. Cheeky. Anyway, that's it. See you in another video. Chica. Ciao.